Hey everyone, happy Thursday. It is Connor here again for another candle review. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review on Lemon Drop from Kaluna Candle, which is the company that I'm trying out in January of 2023, a part of my new series called Small Sniffs. So I have now got another one from Kaluna, and this is the Blood Orange. So um, I am going to be trying out different small companies for uh, candles for each month during this year. And the one that I chose is Kaluna Candle. Definitely check out Lemon Drop if you did miss it. But we are now going to be talking about the scent and the performance of Blood Orange. If you did miss it from earlier in the week, I did a first sniffs and first impressions on the Kaluna candles that I had picked up. There are three of them. I will review the last one um, tonight, so definitely stay tuned for that one. But um, definitely check out the first sniffs video if you did miss it, as that's going to give you some good information on what I thought of the scent. But I will review that over again and um, get into the performance for this one in this video. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into um, the Kaluna candle. So. Some background information on Kaluna Candle. This is a small business in Kirkland, Washington. Um, and so that means that they don't use machinery and the person who makes these candles literally hand pours them. So um, it's a hand poured business, small business. They use a 100% soy wax with the uh, with coconut oil added to it. To it. So um, it's a very similar wax to the Kringle Candle Wax where they are both a soy wax. Um, they use premium fragrance oils. This one right here is a six ounce candle. They do also have a three ounce candle that runs for $12, but the six ounce candle one wick here is um, $20. So a little bit more on the pricey side for the size, um, but I guess that's everything now with inflation going up, especially for smaller businesses, their prices are going to be a bit higher. Um, and they are dye free, fail late, three free, carcinogen free, and mutagen free. So that is some background information on the business. But let's go ahead and hop into the notes for blood orange. So the top notes are grapefruit, the middle notes are orange and green leaves, and then the base note is cedar. So I do really like this scent. It's a pretty scent, but it's kind of not what I expected. Um, I expected to get a lot more orange, especially because it's called Blood Orange. I expected this to be a very, very strong orange scent, kind of like some grapefruit in there, just a very citrusy scent. Um, it's kind of not that. It's a little bit lighter, actually, in my opinion, and... I don't know, I get like a pretty good mixture of the orange and the grapefruit um, and just like a citrusiness in general. Um, there is like a bit of an herbalness to this one in the background. It's not a very strong herbal, but I do get like a green leaves herbalness to this one, which brings me to the conclusion that I believe that this is a an alternative for Kringle Candles Sicilian Orange, which I actually have here sitting in the cabinet right next to me. Um, I'll show you guys this one. This is Kringle Sicilian Orange. This is a really nice one from Kringle. And um, they're very similar in the way where they both have strong orange scents, but um, they both have like an herbalness to them as well. Now, this Sicilian Orange right here that is from Kringle. This one has a lot more of that strong orange that I was expecting to get in Blood Orange from Kaluna. Um, but I really do like the Sicilian Orange. I think I prefer the Sicilian Orange better, but if you wanted like a small company alternative to Sicilian Orange, I would try Blood Orange from Kaluna. But I really wish that I had gotten that like really strong note in Sicilian Blood Orange because um, I really do enjoy this Sicilian Orange from Kringle. But the Blood Orange is not bad. It's just a little bit lighter on the orange um, and then it has some grapefruit mixed in with it with that herbalness in the background. And then, um, like I said, it also does have a bit of cedar wood in the back, which is the... Um, 
that's the base notes. I do get a little bit of that cedar in the back and I think it mixes in pretty well with the herbalness. So it's definitely a nice scent. I just do wish that it had more of that strong, like actual blood orange scent, but definitely not bad. If you want, I guess, a lighter version of Sicilian orange, I would try this out because it's definitely kind of like a watered down or just like a lighter scent um, of Sicilian orange. But yeah, that is what I think of the scent. Now let's go ahead and get into the performance. So I will give you guys an overhead view. As you guys can see, this is a really nice clean burn. Um, like I always get clean burns with the 100% um, soy Kringle candles. I am not too surprised that I'm getting a really nice clean burn with the 100% soy Kaluna candle because soy just seems to be such a clean burn. Um, but as you can see here, really nice burn, no discoloration or anything like that. There's no sooting or any dirtiness really at all. So really happy with that. That's always something that I do look forward in candles when it's like a really super dirty burn. Um, I normally don't gravitate towards that, but yeah, super nice burn on this one. Um, the strength and the throw of this one is a little bit light for me, as well as it being a lighter scent. Um, I definitely wanted more strength and throw, and it's lighter than I would hope for. Um, I would give this one about like a three, and I feel like that's being pretty generous, but I had this in the entryway, and I really couldn't smell it unless I went up to it. Um, I did have my Hurricane on it, which if you don't know what Hurricane is, I will show you right here. It's just this glass thing that goes on top of it. It helps with, um, as you can see, it like shoots up like that. It not only helps with um, tunneling and issues like that by trapping the heat in there, but it also helps with um, shooting out more strength and throw if you do have a lighter candle. So I was using my Hurricane and it still was a bit of a lighter scent than I was hoping for. So do wish that I had a stronger strength and throw um, since it is a nice scent, but I do think that I will stick to my Sicilian orange from Kringle. So I think that's my answer if I would repurchase this one. I don't think I would repurchase this one. I said I would repurchase the lemon drop, but I don't think I would repurchase the blood orange. I will just stick to Sicilian orange from Kringle because I do think that it is much stronger. And um, yeah, that is kind of my opinion on it but I'm definitely not saying this is a bad one if you want a lighter scent I guess and like a nice orange and you want to try from this company I definitely would suggest blood orange you also have to remember this is a one wick candle so it's not going to be a powerhouse at all but I definitely get less strength and throw from this one than I did from the lemon drop which I gave like a six to a six and a half that one actually had pretty good strength and throw this one is a bit more in the background with uh, less strength and throw. But anyways, that is my thoughts on Blood Orange. Let me know down below in the comments if you would be interested in purchasing this one from Kaluna Candle. I will link their company down below in my description box. They have an Etsy shop, so if you're interested in purchasing from them, I will link them down below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here and make sure to turn on that notification bell so you can get notifications every time I upload. I will be back for the final Kaluna Candle review later tonight. I will see you guys there. Bye.